in this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can use cutter comp when applying a chamfer operation. Now what's nice about this tip is that you can use it on simple wireframe geometry. You do not need a solid model. Now if we take a look within the command manager, you'll see that one CNC does provide a very nice chamfer machining operation. However, if we want to use cutter comp, we're going to be using any one of our profile operations. In fact, let's just keep it simple. Let's just use the mill profile basic command. Take your cursor, left click where you'd like to start the chamfer operation. Once you do that, select the arrow that determines the side and direction of cut and then hit the F3 key to finish the selection. Well, right hand mouse click. Now in the very first dialog box here, all you need to make sure is that you're using a chamfer tool. You can use any speeds and feeds that you'd like. We'll click next on that. On the next menu for clearances, just make sure that your final Z depth is greater than the width of the chamfer. I'm going to be creating a 50 thousandths chamfer, so for depth I've typed in minus 100 thousandths. We'll click next on that. Make sure that you use cut levels for your approach style. We'll click next on that. And then within the rough settings dialog box where it says finish leave on sides, this is where you specify the width of the chamfer. If you are creating a 30 thousandths wide chamfer, you type in minus 30. If you're creating a 50 thousandths wide chamfer, like we're doing here, you type in minus 50 thousandths. That looks great. Let's click next on that. And on the next menu, this is where we can apply cutter comp. Make sure that for finishing, you have bottom only selected. And for compensation, I suggest using wear away. Now you might be asking, why wouldn't you use at control? Well, if you use at control, that means that at the control, you're going to be typing in the diameter of the tool. But when you think about it, a taper tool has a varying diameter. So instead of using at control, use wear away or wear closer. Let's use wear away. Let's click next on that. And here's where we can specify our lead in and lead out parameters. This looks good. So let's go ahead and click finished. And now let's simulate our tool path. Let's take our cursor, right click on the machining operation and select simulate rest. And because we're using wireframe geometry, we're going to be using pick a boundary. Let's go ahead and click OK. Take your cursor and just left click anywhere on the closed boundary. Once we've done that, we can click the right hand mouse button and let 1CNC simulate the toolpath. And here you can see 1CNC is creating that 50 thousandths wide chamfer. Now if we were to create CNC code, we can right hand mouse click on the machining operation, select post operation, select post. And if we take a look inside of the CNC code, sure enough, you can see cutter comp's been applied here and we're turning cutter comp off here. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.